No, 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 no. Open your eyes. Please don't take my children! Do you hear that? Do you hear that? You know, I really wasn't even going to review this thing. I heard about it. Somebody recommended it in my comments. And then you go online, social media, everyone is like losing their mind talking about it. I watched it myself and I'm like, damn, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Bird Box. I really do appreciate it. This is a Netflix original. Now, first, I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers. Her name is Miss Nicole Wu. Um, thank you very much. I think it was my review for Welcome to Mar when you mentioned this film right here. And I think I've seen the trailer before and I really didn't pay that attention to it. But then after your comment, you asked me about it. I looked it up. I was like, okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. I'm going to have to check it out. And like I said in my intro, everybody lost their mind. So thank you, Ms. Nicole Wu. I really do appreciate it. So we got this film right here, Bird Box. I really like the title of the film. I like the significance of it. It reveals itself a little bit, uh, actually in the first act of the film. And what I liked about this, first of all, is I get to watch it at home. You know what I'm saying? I can press pop. No, I'm joking. <laughs> first thing I like about it um, is the way it starts out. You don't know what the hell is going on. You see Sandra B uh, Bullock running around with her kids or whatever, blindfolds. You're like, what the hell is going on? How the hell are you going to get around and you don't even, what's, what's going on? I, I like that. And you, 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 you're just blind. You're as blind as they are. The second thing I like is just how the film bounces back and forth to the present day and the past. So it's like a five year gap. And it, stuff hits the fan in the very beginning where we're seeing Sandra Bullock blindfolded. And also, it, stuff hits the fan. I think only like maybe four or five minutes of dialogue at the very beginning of the film where uh, she's talking to one of her friends. I forgot her name. Uh, Miss Sandra Bullock, she was in the uh, Ocean's uh, 8 movie that came out earlier this year. Uh, Sarah Paulson. Yeah, she's a, she's a great actress. I mean, I, I liked all that. It was, it was lovely. And what this film is about, basically, if you don't know, I, I really suggest you go in just completely blind if you, uh, if you don't know anything about. But there is some type of ominous you know, unseen present that presence that comes and it is infecting the people of the world. And basically, if they see it, you go crazy. Now, this film right here is a mix between The Happening by M. Night Shyamalan, which a lot of people did not like. I thought it was pretty cool. The ending could have been better. And there was another film that came out a couple of years ago. It was very, uh, it's very unforgettable. I mean, it's very unforgettable. It's very forgettable. Um, like the aliens were like invisible and you can only see them with like lights or frequency or something like that. It's kind of like a mixture between those. But this film, uh, Bird Box, is much better than those two. Um, this is directed by Mrs. Uh, Suzanne Beer. Uh, I'm not too familiar with her work, but I do I do know that she has got some um, recognition from the Academy Awards. So uh, big up to you, uh, Miss Lady. But uh, I pretty much love this film right here. The best characters in the film to me were Sandra Bullock and John Malkovich. They were uh, completely total total opposites of each other as far as how to deal with situations. Uh, but at the same time, they were right. They were both right. I don't want to spoil it for you. You know, John Malkovich was right. We'll just have to say that. And as far as all the characters are concerned, I really did like all the characters for the most part. Um, I mean, you had some strong characters. You had some weak characters. But the weak characters were honest. So I, I like that. Just like, hey, guys, you know, it's the end of the world. It's the apocalypse. I suck. I'm, I'm fat. I'm dumb. I'm slow. I can't read. You know, I don't know how to survive. I should, probably shouldn't go. I probably should stay here in the corner. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I really do like that. I mean, of course, we always have um, characters together that, um, you know, come from different walks of life. You know what I'm saying? So that's great. You know, we just get diversity and this just that's the way the world is. But I was really, really fascinated by that. Um, I said that my favorite characters were Sandra Bullock and John Malkovich. Uh, second favorite was uh, Trevante, Trevante Rhodes. And also, we got to give it up to my little brother, Lil, Lil Real Harry, who plays Charlie. Um, even though I liked his performance at first, you know, there were some things that kind of frustrated me. 
um, you know, throughout, but you know, it's, it's not a big deal there. I really had no idea, you know, who was going to live or who was going to survive, uh, except for the main character, Sandra Bullock. Now you could possibly know that she will possibly make it or not. I don't want to necessarily spoil that for you here, but there were some character moments in this film where they had to make some really serious, dire uh, decisions at the last moment. And that it really spoke violence to me. I mean, like, I want to ask you a question. Can you really love a child that's not biologically yours as much as your own biological child? You know, they raise uh, those questions in this film. And, you know, whether they handle it the right or wrong way, uh, you just have to watch it yourself. Uh, but, you know, um, I was intrigued by it. I do like it. That's something that really doesn't come up in films or at least films that I've seen before or any type of, uh, any type of, you know, visual entertainment or whatever. But I really did, um, I really did appreciate that. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else. I also like that everything in this film was not necessarily explained to you. Usually, when, you know, there's always some person at the very end that comes out in a white coat that explains everything to you. Um, and I do appreciate that sometimes, but in this time, it didn't necessarily happen that way. And so, uh, you know, it was just kind of a, like a breath of fresh air to me. This film is also being described as a horror. I necessarily wouldn't call it a horror, but I would say it's like a science fiction uh, suspense thriller. No one is going to have nightmares you know, while they watch this. But, you know, one thing that I can say is, guys, when we see films like this, we got to take notes. We got to take notes from Bird Box. We got to take notes from The Happening. We got to take notes from all the zombie apocalypse movies, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know what's going to happen one day, and we got to be prepared because it may be, oh, that's just what they say in the movies. Then it, it stuff hits the fan, and then nobody going to know what to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I'm a survivor. You know what I'm saying? I, th I think I'm a survivor. I got some people I know that's like, man, I don't think you, you really just going to make it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, this this was a great film. I, I really did enjoy it. Um, they could have put this in the movie theaters, to be honest with you, too. I think the budget for this film... Um, actually, I don't know what the budget for this film. I looked up the budget for the last film, but not this one right here. But um, it could have... If they would have put this film... It's the perfect movie for it, it's sitting at the house. It, it, it's perfect for that. You know, but if they would have put it in the theaters, I probably would have wanted just a little bit more oomph to it. Uh, but, I mean, I, I really have no gripes. Um, this was... You know, it was a fantastic movie. I like you know, end of the world, apocalypse, things where nobody knows what's going on. Um, that's just kind of, it can be kind of scary, but it's also uh, fascinating, you know, at the same time. Um, I, you know, guys, you should recommend it. It was, it was a great film. It was creative. What they was doing with the blindfolds not being able to see. I mean, it makes you, you watch the trailer if you want to. So you're going to be like, how the hell are they going to make it when they have, I mean, and they were smart. People learn fast. And I was also very, very impressed by the two children in this movie, these two child actors. I think they did a very, very uh, great job for their age. Um, it was believable. Uh, I mean, and, you know, I mean, some, uh, you know, People do die in this movie. Uh, I find the way that they were offering themselves very, very creative, especially John Mac. Well, I don't, I don't want to say anymore. Um, it was a little bit more creative in the happening, but I, I really did like this film a lot more. Um, I'm a fan of Mark, War Mark Wahlberg, but he looked dumb in that film. He did not fit the role to me. The acting was a little spotty. I still enjoyed that, but I did enjoy Bird Box um, just a little bit more, and I will recommend it. If I had to rate Bird Box out of a 1 out of 10, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Yes, an 8.5 out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion for Bird Box. Have you seen it or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Excuse me, let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of the screen, and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Bird Box. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.